Hey, I'm Ed from Bikeheads, and today we're going to be talking about the C4 Pro Carbon. Okay, so this sits right at the top of the tree of the Schuberth Touring Helmets. So what you've got here is the C4 Pro Carbon. It's a long time since uh, Schuberth bought out a carbon flip helmet, but we've got one now. I'm going to run through a few of the key features with you. So the carbon is from their F1 technology. As you know, Schuberth were the only manufacturers allowed to make F1 helmets. They're always out of carbon fibre. They've been doing it a long time, and you've got real carbon fibre in this shell. So the whole of the rear of the shell is carbon fibre, and then you've got this graphic stuck over the top. It's not the other way around where they put a carbon graphic over the top of a fiberglass shell. This is a real, true carbon shell. You're saving about 200 grams. You've just weighed a couple of helmets, C4 Pro and the C4 Pro Carbon, and it's about 200 grams lighter on the C4 Pro Carbon. So it's a fantastic weight saving, a massive weight saving in fact, but you're still getting all the safety of a composite shell with this product. Just so you're aware, the front chin bar is Lexan, so that's the best high polycarbon that you can get on a chin bar all the way around here. If you made that out of carbon as well, it would make this very um, very stiff and you wouldn't be able to adjust it around your face as well. So it gives a bit of give around this area so it's nice and comfortable around the jawline for people with different shaped heads. Still made out of legs on front, carbon over the rest of the shell. So let's go through a few of the other key features of the C4 Pro Carbon. First thing you've got, top ventilation. Three position top vent, as you'd expect from Shoeberth. The channels run through the EPS at the back and exit at the bottom of the shell down here. So you're getting full ventilation all the way over the head. As you know with Schuberth, it's always wind tunnel design, so it's aeroacoustic and aerodynamically designed in a wind tunnel for a thousand hours. They use, uh, they use clay models, they make adjustments, they change it, they keep working on it, get the noise right down. So the C4 Pro Carbon over the C4, you're getting a massive, massive reduction in the amount of noise at 100 kilometers on a naked bike. They always give that stipulation. Once you change any of those parameters, you can get changes in noise. So it's always a naked bike, it's always 100 kilometers an hour when it's 85 decibels is the noise rating of the C4 Pro Carbon. Coming down to the side, the visor is still the same visor from the C4, so you're getting enormous amounts of visibility to the left and right and vertically. So it's like a massive HD optical class 1 visor with a Max Vision Pinlock included in the box. It's a Max Vision Pinlock 120, which is the highest rated pinlock you can buy for a helmet. So you're getting loads of moisture absorption before it starts to fog up. In fact, I'd be surprised if it ever fogged up on you. So, staying on the visor, you've got the turbulators running across the front. Just a quick point, you're not going to get a black visor in the box, it's going to be clear, just so you're aware. It just looks a bit cooler with a black visor on it. So, turbulators running around the top, they're there, so when you have a visor in the up position, you're not getting a whistling through the back of the helmet here. So they just create a turbulence behind here, so you don't get that whistling. Coming to the back of the shell, you've got the spoilers running on the side of the helmet. If I just turn it this way up, you'll be able to see the shape here, coming out here as it continues on from the visor round like this. The reason it's there is to create an area of turbulence behind the helmet here, pulls it away from the back so you don't get as much lift. So you know that you're not gonna get any lift on this product. Okay, back onto the front of the helmet. If we come down the front, there's your visor. Just open that up for you quickly. You have got the internal sun visor based on a Bowden cable system. The reason we use that system is closest to the uh, hand so you can get your hand up to it as quickly as possible and drop that sun visor without having to run your hand on top of the helmet. That is a two position sun visor as well. Again, it's hard to see on the camera, but if I just show you this lever here, you can just slide that across and that gives you a bit more travel on the sun visor. Slide it back and it will just stop that travel quite so much. Coming back to the front, if I just flip it open for you, you've got your front vent there, simple to use. And as you know with the shoe berth, because it's a scoop vent, when the air hits the front of this visor, it gets directed down into that scoop vent, you're getting more airflow if you scoop it than if you open it. They've been doing that for years on these helmets. Open up, nice smooth mechanism. You've got your metal post with a 360 lock around to help it's not going to open on impact that's completely locked in place. As you can see, just quickly here, the microphone's been moved down to this position nearer to your mouth, but it's still quite subtle and tucked away. It's not going to be rubbing up and down your face, so it's still very high sensitivity. Great noise reduction on the microphone as well, so you should be able to get a good pickup on the mic. Speakers and mic are built in as standard on this helmet. I'll talk you through the Bluetooth in a second. Inside the helmet, you've got a full Coolmax lining, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's very plush, almost like velvet, but it is a Coolmax material, so it's going to wick away. It's completely safe. It's, it's washable, all the things you expect. If you put this on, I haven't tried a flip up that fits quite as well as this ever. So it's absolutely beautiful and plush. It really listens to the customer base. If I hold the helmet this way, you can see you've got this black channel here with a zip on it. First of all, that's where your EC standard is going to be if you want to check out to make sure you're getting a European helmet. The ones in America with the dot standard are going to be 200 grams heavier, just so you know. So make sure you buy your helmet within the UK if you can. So you, that's where your strap runs through this, this channel as well. It comes around to the back of the helmet. That's called the Aros system. 
stops the helmet rolling off your head in the event of an accident. EC2205 is about 15%, um, so 15 degree turn this way in the event of an accident. That reduces it to about 3 degrees, so you're getting a much safer helmet because of that arrow system. Okay, if I drop that quickly back down, turn it up this way, you'll see on the bottom of the helmet here, you've got an increased acoustic collar, so again, the noise is going to be reduced down. Two reflective panels on the back, so you've got a bit of active safety as well. Two pockets here, one's for your um, Bluetooth headset and one's for your battery pack. So they're completely enclosed in the helmet. You've got three buttons on the outside of the Bluetooth set. You can use your kit from your standard C4 or R2 if you've already got one, or you can upgrade to the new one that will be coming out soon. So that's the uh, SC2 kit will be coming out soon. Keep an eye out for that. It's going to increase your range, a few more functionality, a bit better sound, all those things you expect. The wiring, this has been improved over the C4 as well, so there is an improvement in just the internals and the wiring and stuff you can't see. So, C4 Pro Carbon, you get your five year warranty, as you'd expect with a shoe, two years of standard, and then you can extend it to your five years. So for any more information on this helmet, check out all the designs and the graphics. As I say, that is real carbon, that's not a graphic. That's exactly what your shell's made out of. Check out bikeheads.com, like and subscribe below, and see you at the next video.